Hey Booktube, this is Friday Reads. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks and this weekend is a romance weekend because I just finished A Torch Against the Night which is by Sabah Tahir. It is book two in the An Ember in the Ashes series. It's not out yet. It's going to come out later in August. And um, on audio, it is narrated from three points of view by Steve West, Fiona Hardingham, and Catherine McEwen. And oh my gosh, I have such a book hangover. Wow. I am, you know, I, I can't do fantasy for a little while because this book was so good. It was so good. Yeah. Anyway, you'll hear five stars from me in August when I wrap up everything. Where I may do a separate review for uh, that one because it was an arc. So anyway, this weekend's all about romance because I, I can't really do any more fantasy, at least right now. So I'm going to listen to Colleen Hoover's It Ends With Us. This is narrated by Olivia Song. And while I don't love the narration right now, I still think it's pretty good. It's better if I speed it up to about 1.25 the speed. Everybody's better a little faster. So um, th the reason I say that is because I, ha I can't do that with my swim iPod. It's a little iPod shuffle, and so it's very basic. You can't speed things up. And so when I swim and I listen to it there and then I have my regular iPod for comparison, I can tell the difference. She sounds a lot better when she's sped up a little bit. Her voices are fine. Her range isn't great, but it's not horrible. So she is a good enough narrator to enhance the story at least. And so that's really a step above average and I am not complaining. So... That is Colleen Hoover's latest book, and it is obviously romance. I hear it's a real tearjerker. I hear it's got some real um, serious social issues that it addresses. But so far, it's just this girl who wants to open a flower shop and this neurosurgeon that she runs into on top of a roof. That's not spoiling anything. That's just who the characters are. So anyway, I'm going to do that this weekend. And then I am reading on my iPad The Best Man by Kristen Higgins. This book is priceless. I love a smart book. I love a smart book because uh, smart funny is what I enjoy. I don't, I don't like slapstick at all. I don't like corny at all. I, mm -mm. Those just seem like cheap attempts at humor. When humor surprises me and it's smart, I love that. And this book is smart. It is so good. It's about a woman who got left at the altar by a guy, and I probably shouldn't tell you more than that because I'll spoil it, but she's trying to put her life back together, and she moved away for a while, and now she's come back home and is kind of trying to deal with the whole I was left at the altar in a small town where everybody knows your business kind of situation, and it's just so funny. I mean, there were so many laugh out loud moments that I've recently read, and I'm only like, I don't know, maybe less than halfway through it, but the thing is, they're smart. I mean, she creates this entire scene where you're watching it play out. And honestly, one of them was like a scene out of Mayberry, like Andy Griffith, you know, uh, with Barney Fife and Andy and j situations. It was so funny. And yet it wasn't corny or cheap or stupid. It was smart. It was just the way she tells these stories is so smart. Her dialogue is so sharp and so witty. Her characters are just, they're not caricatures. They're really good characters. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm making too much of this because I don't read enough of it. But boy, I am thoroughly enjoying it. In fact, I don't want to put it down and I have to go run some errands and I really don't want to have to go do them because I'd rather read. <laughs> I don't know how you have a full-time job and not and get any reading done or much less that than filming YouTube videos and editing. I mean, really, seriously, those of you who do this and then work full-time, I'm just, I'm in awe. I bow to your uh, expertise because I sure couldn't do it. I uh, do well enough to get out of bed in the morning and get dressed and go run errands and then read. And I read a lot. Obviously, I read, in the, you know, when I listen, I listen in the car, and that's always helpful. But anyway, that's my weekend. What are you reading this weekend?
I would love to know. I would love to know if you've read any Kristen Higgins. I've only read one other book of hers, and I was okay with it. I wasn't overly impressed with it, but this one, this one I'm really impressed with it. So if you've read The Best Man, let me know. And if you've read anything else by Kristen Higgins, let me know what you thought of it. And uh, I guess that's it for now for me. Have a good weekend, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>